welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing this look right here. This is very much inspired by the PSL that just came out. But my first PSL is not with Starbucks because you don't have to have Starbucks to have a PSL. I actually love Pete's coffee. So this is not, this is not a sponsored video. Today is my first day with a pumpkin spice latte. So that means it is officially fall. I don't know when fall actually starts, but today is my fall. I just got my Huda Beauty palette in. It is so beautiful. Look at this. Packaging is always amazing with Huda Beauty. This is my first actual Huda Beauty palette. She has a lot of warm colors in here that I absolutely love. Unfortunately, my Cosmo came in a little broken, but that's okay. Um, I still have some glitter around the edges and... I'll make it work. A lot of these colors are very warm, red, so I'm like, okay, I just got my first pumpkin spice latte for the season. There's a lot of pumpkin warmth going on right here. This looks like a, the first leaf that dropped off of the tree and fell on the ground is right on my eye right now with the pop of blue. That's what's going on in my eye right now. We are doing the first fall makeup look. I'm gonna have a ton more fall makeup looks because I love fall makeup. I think it's so gorgeous and it really accentuates the eyes. I think it looks beautiful on a lot of skin tones. I have a pop of blue on the lash line to mix it up a little bit. I think jewel colors look really beautiful in the fall as well. So I have a little bit of that. So if you want to see how I achieved this look right here, this pumpkin spice latte on my eyes, slash triple x hot cheeto um then just keep watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the quad family and without further ado we are going to get on into my the first video. psl of the season this moment is very special right now i'm going to start off with my brows i already um, moisturized my face and i'm going to get straight into the eye makeup first because i like the way my makeup has been coming out when i just do my eyes without doing foundation or anything so i am going to start off with the eyes brows. So I'm going to be using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number 4. Kind of in my jam lately. I've been using this for my brows in my videos lately because it just it's so fast and easy. And if I sound a little weird or muffly, it's because I'm a little sick. I'm a little on the sickly side today. Hoping I'll get better in a few days. I've already been kind of sick for about almost a week, so I'm hoping it'll get better soon. Okay, I'm going to put this underneath my eyes before I start on my eye makeup. This is the Benefit Puff Off. It's a instant eye gel that I can't seem to open. So it looks like this. It's called the Puff Off. I'm just going to use it underneath my eyes because my under eyes, I haven't been getting that much sleep because I've been coughing all night, coughing my brains out. And my under eyes are looking a little tired. Use the Tarte Shape Tape in Medium to set the eyes this tiny little beauty blender right here and I'm gonna work that in all over my eyelid I'm gonna cover my entire eyelid with desert sand which is this shade right here I just got my nails done I'm very excited about these nails I told him I told my nail person just give me something mocha pumpkin spice fall latte inspired something like that and this is what he came up with, and I really like it. Um, I'm going to take that all over the lids. I'm going to start at the base of the lid and work my way up. So this palette is pretty warm. It gives me fall vibes. The only thing that made me sad when this palette came in is the Cosmo shade, which is the only glitter press. came in completely broken apart. So um, I looked at everyone else's that got theirs. Theirs came intact, so I think it just me might be something wrong with the way mine came in. Um, I don't think everybody else's was like that. But from what I see, everybody else's Cosmo was pretty nice and pretty. And the first shadow that I'm gonna go in with is actually is Eden, just to give us warm us up a little bit in the crease. So I'm gonna take this with my Luxie 229 brush and just start to work that right in that hollow area. I just want like a pumpkin spice first leaf falling off of the tree kind of rustic eye look today so that is what I'm going for the next color I'm gonna go in with is blazing right here so I'm just gonna pop that onto the lid I'm gonna lay that down all over the lid and work that into the crease 
And when I start to blend this out, I want to work it in an angle. And this is because I want to give my eye more of a lifted appearance. So especially since my eyes are kind of, I feel like my eyes are kind of droopy and like sickly looking. So I just want to lift them up. Next color I'm going to go into is amber. Work that into the outer part of the crease, like the outer V area. For the next color, I'm going to take saffron. I think that's the way you say it. I'm going to take that color right there and I'm going to pop that on to the outer V as well but I'm still going to keep it to where you can see the um, amber, the shade amber. Smaller brush so we can get a little bit more detailed with this. So and this is the M506 from Morphe. I'm going to take that one and start to focus this a little bit closer to the hollow. I'm actually going to mix that shade with this shade as well. I don't know the name of it. So I'm just going to mix it with this brown shade just to make it a little bit more intense and deep. This eye look almost reminds me of just like a little fireball or that little lit fireball on Insta Stories. For the next shade, I'm going to pop it on right in the inner part of the eye. I'm either going to take Turkish Delight or Blood Moon. I'm just going to swatch them on my fingers first to see which one I would want. This is how I decide which one. I think we're gonna go with this eyeshadow look so far is reminding me of an extreme hot Cheeto. For all you hot Cheeto lovers out there, this one's for you. I think I'm gonna go with this guy right here. Pop that on to the inner corner of the eye and take it into the inner third. I'm gonna leave that center part matte because usually we pop on that center highlight, but this time I'm gonna change it up, leave it matte. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this medium concealer and this concealer brush right here from the Makeup Shack T86, and I'm gonna clean up the brow bone. Now that the brows are cleaned up, I'm gonna go in with Desert Sand, and I'm just gonna set the concealer in place and bring that down into the shadow. Now I'm gonna go in with eyeliner. So for the eyeliner, I'm going to use, because I've been loving this eyeliner so much, the Tartist liner from Tarte. <laughs> it's the double take liner. Um, I'm using this side because it is extremely black. And I'm going to create a wing on my eye. I'm gonna put on some mascara. The mascara I'm using is from Roller Lash, or is from Benefit, the Roller Lash Mascara. So I'm just gonna coat my lashes with a few coats of this mascara. Okay, so our lashes are on and I'm gonna start working on fixing this face right here. And oh, I just got this new primer from Smashbox. I just came back from Fiji and they showed us this primer that works amazing on the skin. It's super hydrating. It's a primer and a moisturizer all in one. And anything that has to do with moisturizing your face, you know I'm all about it. I need to try it and I need to put it on my face immediately. So I tried this out. I really liked it and I just like the way my, my makeup lies on my skin when I put this on. It just goes on so smooth. I just love the feeling of it. As soon as you put it on, it's just like you're skin is drinking water and it just glides on the skin so easy and it literally feels you can feel your skin soaking up the moisture instantly so now that we have our primer on our face is ready for foundation the foundation i'm using today is from l'oreal this is the infallible pro matte and i am in the state in the shade sun beige start to cover all this redness discoloration mosquito bites acne Okay, now I'm going to cover my under eyes, and to do that, I'm going to go with medium today. Something a little bit more on the natural side of things. I'm going to go ahead and highlight with that too, so we're not going to have like an intense bright highlight. So now that we're concealed, our face is looking good so far. We need to bring back out those the contours of our face. So to do that, I'm going to be using this shaping foundation from Smashbox. And I'm not using the foundation part, but I am using the shaping part of the stick. I love this shade for contouring, and I love the shape of this stick right here. If they could just make this by itself, I would, I would use this all the time. 
This is in the shade Soft Contour 2.2. So I'm gonna go right underneath the hollow of the cheekbone and bring it down right about there. See, it has that ashy undertone. Just, I usually gravitate towards more of the ashier tones for the contour because I want it to look like a shadow. Go ahead and blend that in, blending it upwards. And then I'm gonna go on with this smaller end. Make sure it's nice and wet, not too wet. So if it is too wet, then you definitely want to go and dry it or at least get a napkin or towel and just kind of press it and then start to work in your product. So I'm just making these really short bouncing motions so it blends into the skin like it's actually a natural shadow. And I'm gonna go on the other side. And voila, contoured. I'm gonna take this little um, angled brush right here. I think they want this to be a brow brush, but look how thick that is. It's not gonna work for me. So I'm gonna use it on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take amber. And I'm gonna work that right on the lash line. So on the waterline, I'm gonna go in with this blue pencil right here from Marc Jacobs. It's in the shade Wavelength. I'm gonna add a little bit of the brown on the outer part of the lash line just to give it a little bit more warmth. Okay, so I'm gonna set my under eyes with the Too Faced I Want Candy Banana Pudding Powder. It's so cute. It's the brightening face powder, so I'm gonna try this guy out for my under eyes and basically where I would want to brighten any, anything up. If I could smell, which I, I can smell the banana. So I'm gonna use this guy right here. Load up my brush. I love the whole candy collection. It smells like candy and pudding and just amazing, sweet, happy things just like candy. She's just a big happy ball of sweetness. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that underneath the eye. I love yellow powders on my face. It just makes me so, so happy. This also has a little bit of purple and pink for a color correcting brightening color. So I think this is gonna work great as a brightener without it being really intense and bright. It's still giving you that, that fresh awake kind of look. I'm gonna go in with this highlight from Becca. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. And I'm just gonna pop that on to the cheekbones. Half Red from MAC, it's a lip liner. And then I'm gonna take Max Hickory and work that on the outer edges. And I feel like this kind of ties in that red fiery warmth that our eyes are giving us without overwhelming the lip. And then right on top, I'm gonna do a nude. I'm gonna go with this nude just because it is super nude. Candy Collaboration Liquid Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Melted Ice Cream. Okay, so now I'm taking all the lip liners that I have to create my own custom lip look right now. So I'm taking Rooch from ColourPop, it's the lippy pencil, and I'm also taking it on the outer corners of the lip. Um, the only thing I forgot, oh my gosh, I was about to go on with my life without using a blush or a bronzer, the Kylie blush in X-Rated, just because we have a very peachy eye, so I'm gonna go with the peachy blush. I'm gonna take this guy right here. It's very matte, just the way I like my blushes. I'm gonna take the peach blush and just press it onto the lips. I just feel like it's gonna mesh the entire look together and it's gonna keep everything in place. I feel like I'm very powdery right now, so I'm just gonna spritz some of this LC Hydra Mist on my face. So, voila, this is the look. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Give me a big thumbs up and also if you don't want to leave yet and you want more videos from me or you just want to check out some other things, I have them over to the side. And before you go, I want to let you know that I love you and you are amazing. You're beautiful. You're shining. Go and get yourself a pumpkin spice latte and say Kristen Dominique sent you. Love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye dollies.